Good evening, viewers. I'm Frank Erickson. We interrupt this broadcast of The Real Housewives of Saskatchewan to bring you reports of a developing story at the local Consortial Claremont University. One, two, three, Waldorf. Beautiful. Ah, so great. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here today. I mean, in the email, uh, Janice said it was a retreat, but we're on the quad, so. So the point is to just pass our healing energies around our circle, okay? So just feel through your fingertips, up through your veins, through your heart, and back I'm out sorry, through I'm your sorry. fingertips. No, this is my bubble. This is okay. This yeah. Is I don't really know why she called us here today. I mean, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> on a Sunday. It's beyond me. Uh, so the, they were standing together, and one girl uh, is like, do you want to go check out what desserts there are? And she does, and she goes, and she comes back, and she goes, the dessert tonight is apple pie. And the other girl goes, oh my god. I don't like telling people this, but I hate apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> and the other girl responds, no way! I never tell people this, but I also hate apple pie! And she goes, I know, it's like, it's an American pastime, it's like so important, everyone loves pie, but it's so sweet, it's like something about warm fruit, I hate it! And I was like, I know, like my brother loves apple pie, and he has apple pie every year for his birthday, and so I just have to like sit there pretending to like apple pie, but I'm like nauseous, and I don't want to tell anyone, it's so weird! It's like, I like other pie, you know? I like rhubarb pie. I like pecan pie. But apple pie is just doesn't do it for me. And then I formed a sword out of my sheer anger and I beheaded both of them. Harl? Harl, give me back the sword. It's yours? Harl, you took your damn roommate's weapon? It was cool. Classic! But that's... that's... It's just some sword. That's the sword Blood Banshee Hydra went for the night night! The who and the what? It's so realistic! I'm calling the Phantom! No, 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 no! Uh, this is a misunderstanding. I'm a huge fan of Blood Banshee and Hydra Man. That's a replica. A replica? You just had it made. In the last four hours? Yeah, I know a guy. It's so realistic. He's a really good guy. We the people of Windsor College, in order to form a more perfect institute, establish social justice, ensure environmental sustainability, provide for our generation's future. Friday, February 14th, the Claremont College's divestment campaign organized a protest outside of Pitzer's West Hall. Students, parents, and faculty gathered to affirm the increasing urgency of climate change and their moral obligation to action. For the protest, the Claremont College's divestment campaign created a human oil spill with participants dressed in black and a mock pipeline. Jonah Breslau played an executive from an oil company speaking to the Pitzer student body. a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts his acts being seven ages at first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms and then the whining schoolboy with his satchel his shining morning face. Last seen of all that ends this strange, eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. 
if you ask me, this is all bullshit. Yeah, well, no one asked you. Actually, I sort of did. We're here to talk. Please keep it civil. The thing about stereotypes is that they shut down the opportunity for real discussion. We should not rely on them as a crutch to form opinions on people. We should instead try to get to know them instead of just forming an opinion based on what school they're from. But it's important to remember that stereotypes do not arise out of nowhere, at least as far as Claremont stereotypes go. There's a grain of truth to each one. Now that's bullshit. This is coming from the girl whose stereotype is the smart one. Well, not all of us like our stereotypes. They call us bros, douches. In high school, I was in a play. How is that douchey? The idea behind ISMP is that we want to be a family for our international students who are far away from home. ISMP provided a community of people from the beginning that I was able to connect with and relate to. ISMP provided me with a very strong support network. Um, there's enough diversity that I feel like I'm very, com I'm very comfortable being myself and I'm aware that I bring a very different dynamic to the campus. One of the most important pieces of advice I have to give to the incoming international students of Pomona College is to take an advantage of all the resources available to them. To feel entitled to get involved in anything and everything that they want to pursue what moves you. Be able to make friends not only with their international counterparts but also to make friends with uh, American students. Ask questions and take power naps. <laughs>